welcome back to the channel. This is Miller Trucking. I'm Matt. We're sitting at our next uh, pickup. We're a little early, so we're kind of waiting for the guy to show up. So this one is a little bit different. This is not the load that we originally had booked. So we had a FedEx load booked uh, that was going to pick up, who was it originally going to pick up today or tomorrow? Today. today. And it was going to deliver on the 3rd. What's that? By the third. By the third. Yeah, it, it was kind of like it, but most of the FedEx stuff. It's get there when when you get there kind of deal. It's a solo driver load, but you can get it there ASAP. So that was picking up in Atlanta, going up to Connecticut. Uh, normally, the last time that we did it, there was like a relay stop in between. But this time, it was posted for the full run straight through. So we were going to do that. Uh, and then we got a call saying that they were going to cancel the load because of the 4th of July, even though it picked up over the weekend, delivered by the 3rd, whatever. Couldn't really question it too much because, you know, FedEx cancels stuff for weird reasons. But, so we put the uh, load alerts back on and the same load popped up again, but this time delivering by the 4th. And picking up on picking up the fourth, okay, picking up on the fourth, delivering by the fifth. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. So, which was even weirder because, like, if you canceled the other one before the fourth of July, how is that one going to run? So we called them just out of curiosity, and we we're like, "Are you sure this is going to go?" Because you guys canceled the last one on us, the because of the fourth of July. So they were like, no, it, it should be good. Everything's good. We have it in hand. So we went ahead and booked it. And then after we got off the phone, we were like, this seems really sketchy. Like they're gonna cancel on us the last second, leave us stranded after waiting an extra few days because like it's the best thing that was running at the time. It's a little, little tight on the market with uh, the holiday time. Uh, so you have to kind of be selective on what you pick to um, to run because a lot of places are off since the 4th falls on a Tuesday, I believe. So, you know, basically the whole weekend, Monday, Tuesday, most places are taking off. So we did book it. Then we thought about it for a while and like, man, they're going to cancel on us last second and leave us high and dry so bad after waiting these extra days to pick up this load, which, you know, when, when you wait the extra days, it doesn't make it that appealing. It, it was still a good load, but it wasn't a great load. So we decided to cancel on them. So we called them and, and canceled before they could cancel on us. And then we, we, uh, grabbed this, this load, which... I don't know, a little weird. So our our bill said 600, which was the next complex over. Trucker Path showed this building. So we came here originally, looked around, went over to 600. That guy was like, nah, you gotta be over at the other one. It's like, okay. But I was like, this one's 600, that one's 510 or 540. He's like, yeah, it's that one. We all share, there's a bunch of businesses sharing the space in here. And uh, your guy that's loading you is not here right now. But we are early, so we're just going to park here and kind of wait for that guy. And figure out what's going on. But I, ultimately, I, I think we did the right move by canceling on FedEx before FedEx canceled on us. After we had looked really silly sitting there all weekend. And Monday. And Monday. And then they cancel on us. So we wasted all that time. All that potential revenue sitting around and i don't want to be sitting in in atlanta to be honest with you so yeah we made that tough choice cancel on them because i mean the, the fedex stuff is usually really dependable if it's posted it typically runs but we have found holidays have put a huge wrench in the plans with FedEx they'll they cancel on us for um what holiday was it Easter was it Easter yeah, yeah we were out like 
it was another thing where, where like Easter, you know, was on Sunday and um, that load picked up Saturday and delivered by Monday. And then they called and were like, or actually I think, yeah, it was pick up Saturday and then I think it was like delivered by Tuesday or something like that. And then they called and they were like, hey, can you pick it up Monday and deliver it by Tuesday? And we're like, yeah, sure. You know, we'd be able to do that. It wasn't, wasn't that bad. And then, so we thought everything was good. And then they called and said, they're just not firing that, that load. It's not running at all. So we had sat around and waited and got burnt on that. So I think, I think we made the right choice. We'll see. I mean, this one, the rate started out it was like $200 shy of the FedEx load, but there was way less deadhead from Florida because we're in the like Southern part of, of uh, Georgia right now. Like I said, a little North of Valdosta. And then, uh, miles closer to the house. yeah, it's quite a bit closer to the house. So this is going to Jersey instead of uh, Connecticut. But the weird thing is, <laughs> yesterday yesterday was friday today is saturday uh the agent called and said hey what do you think if if they add an extra stop We're like uh i i guess depends on where and how much they want to pay and you know all the details so we agreed it's like 20 miles out of the route to get to the other place it's near philly and then we drop down into Jersey to uh, deliver the last load. So they added 200 bucks to it, which brings us up to what the FedEx rate was with a lot less deadhead both ways, pretty much. So it worked out pretty well. The agent seems pretty nice. She had us save her contact info so that, um, I guess we can work with her in the future. She said she was looking for dependable BCOs, even though we haven't even ran a load for her, but I don't know. I mean, we're here early, so. All right, we'll, uh, we'll probably pick up when something happens, when the guy gets here, when we get loaded, something. All right, I got backed in. Uh, we are already locked in. They are ready to get us loaded and out of here. So not much to this place. It's just your basic warehouse, so no aerial footage. Or any backing footage just imagine the most typical warehouse backing you could possibly get and that was what we did so while we're waiting uh liz went the extra mile and uh toasted the wraps or grilled i don't know whatever you consider it so we got a breakfast burrito uh with a nice uh crunchy wrap so I'm gonna eat that while we're getting loaded, I guess. All right, that took about an hour. Just do a strap in there, got it uh, secured. And we're gonna take off now. We're gonna head up 95 north till the end of time. And then uh, cut across right around Philly, deliver, go back to Philly deliver the second one and then I don't know if if, uh, if the load is going to work out but there was a uh, Home Depot double drop and hook that takes us right to uh, Winchester Virginia which is not that far from the house but I don't know if it's going to roll through or not so we're going to see about that one that one's a little bit north of Philly um, so we'll just kind of make this big triangle if it works out, if not, we'll go, just go straight home. Nothing but accidents on 95, but we made it to the South Carolina Welcome Center. We're going to switch here. I'm going to drive the next 300 miles to get us to Kenley, and then we'll drive the rest of the way tomorrow. Um, since we have the Jersey stop first, we'll probably get there late so we can park overnight. Just do it that way, but... Um, yeah, hopefully there's not another million accents in the next 300 miles, but there probably will be. Well, I made it to Kinley 95. Got back to the spot. Oh no, oh no. Um, there are angled spots. 
thought this Lancer driver would do a better job of backing in next to us. But it's not going so well. But I want to straighten up a little bit too, so... situation we made it north of richmond but south of dc we're on 95 north still i uh, pulled over to a rest area we were going to use the restroom but then we pulled an audible we're going to stay here for the night and just uh, run through the night through dc and get over to our first delivery early park on their lot get it delivered then head over to philly area deliver the second one and then I don't know, I guess we'll know soon if we're gonna deadhead home or if we're gonna pick up that double drop and hook. Uh, but either way, if we just go home straight after, I won't be terribly sad, but if we can make some money. Well, it was a easy morning. I'm not even gonna say it was a long morning because there really wasn't any traffic to speak of. Uh, which was great. It's exactly what I wanted. That was the reason for waking up at 1 in the morning and getting here at 5.30. <laughs> Worked out great. 
Um, but there's one person that rolled up, but they haven't got out of the car. I don't know what time they opened, but I'm not really worried about it because we're here. We have a spot. It looks like this farm grows blueberries and we were bringing them some sort of packaging, um, potentially for the blueberries. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, we are 73 miles from the second delivery because New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, there's no direct way to get there. So we had to go back to 95. But hopefully all this goes smoothly. Hopefully that delivery goes smoothly. And we'll see if we go straight home from there. Boy well, we made contact with somebody. Uh, first guy came over right at seven. He said, yeah, well, it's gonna be a while. I was like, all right, well, I don't, it's not really quantifying anything. So we were like, whatever, we'll just wait around until somebody does something and then a new guy came over, he knocked on the reefer driver next to us, woke him up, told him to get in a dock, and then he came over to us and told us that we can go in whatever dock this guy is not going into, so, uh, just gotta figure out where he ends up and then I'll go back in next to him. This is a pretty cool place, nice big farm, lots of people here, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes them to unload uh, their part of... Oh no, I think I might have given them both the paper. Nope. Nope, there they are. Stop two. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how long it takes. stacked all the pallets from our trailer so earlier when the guy came out um, to get our paperwork he said oh yeah it's gonna be a while and I guess they didn't have room in the warehouse so they just put it outside rolling up to the second delivery um, good old Pennsylvania and all of its truck restrictions except for local deliveries all right so I think I saw the truck yeah it should be this one driveway and I see the docks back there. Shipping and receiving. Okay, so we're going to figure out where to check in now, I guess. Turn right, then take the first right. Alright, we 
got into the door. Uh, we're probably going to switch drivers here. It shouldn't take them long at all. There's five stacks of pallets. I did have to climb in there and like restack a few because uh, some of them fell. They're pretty durable pallets. They fell from like eight foot, not even a scratch on them. Uh, but I threw them back up. They went in at least took a uh, a bunch of pallets off, so should be four more. And then it's looking like uh, we're just going home, unless we get that call in the next like 10 minutes. But we're probably going to be like halfway home before they're like, "Hey, do you want to go pick up that load?" We're gonna be in Winchester. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be passing Winchester. They're like, hey, you wanna you wanna do this double dropping hook to Winchester? <laughs> so I don't know. Shouldn't be much longer, then we're done. We don't do a whole lot of multi-stops and well this one wasn't even originally supposed to be a multi-stop, but it turned in into one. But either way, it was a little inconvenient for the delivery to have them switch it, but it is more convenient for going home. Because we are 70 miles closer to the house than where we would have been. And I guess if we're not going to get that Home Depot load, then closer better. Well, it took him about 20 minutes to take off all the pallets, give us a paperwork back, shut the doors, and we're out of here. So we're back on this road. The only way to get to this place is to turn down this road, and it has, uh, like, length restrictions and stuff like that normally it says except for local deliveries well the one across the street does so whatever there's literally no other way to get to the place you have to go down this road so we did but that's just pennsylvania things so we're gonna just start heading to the house um i don't think the home depot loads coming through in time we talked to the uh agent that's okay they had to stop, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we talked to the agent that uh, I guess her colleague has the uh, Home Depot loads and said they'll let you know, but just told her that we're uh, probably just gonna go home. When you get close to that vacation time, your uh, tolerance for waiting around or doing anything but literally going home is, is super, super thin. Like if it lined up, the paperwork would have had come through, you know, before it's 1030 now. If it had come through, we would have done it, no problem. Make some money, pay for the uh, fuel and, and uh, the stuff to get down there, but I don't want to wait around for it. I'd rather just get home. So we'll probably pick up a little bit later when we get to the house. All right, I think we're gonna probably end the video here because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. We're gonna go on vacation and then several days when I get around to editing this video, I'm gonna realize we never made an outro. So we're at the uh, Delaware Welcome Center on 95 South. I don't really care for this one. I don't like when they mingle the cars and the trucks together because uh, turn left on it's always a mess. JFK Memorial Highway, then take the first right. Turn right on JFK but, Memorial Highway, then take the first left. This place stop and lined up turn pretty left conveniently. On JFK Memorial now Highway. this is a blind, uh, blind turn, essentially. Was a car In three and a quarter miles, keep left All right. to I-95. Yeah, there was more parking down here, but I just wanted to get a spot while we could. It wasn't too bad though. Now we gotta merge back on in the left lane and get all the way back over. But anyways, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you on the next one, which is gonna be in a a while because we're taking vacation. Bye!